Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Upland Updates with the Ninjas. Ko, how you doing? Uh, doing great. Doing great here in uh, uh, Tennessee. How's it going over there? Good. We've had some crazy weather over the weekend a little bit. It's, it's nice out now, but we've had some crazy weather. Yeah, we had uh, we were driving home uh, from a tournament yesterday, and uh, yeah, the storm, storms are pretty bad, actually. Yeah, we had a little bit yep. towards the end of last week, too. On Thursday, man, we had a crazy electrical storm Thursday night. Got some a little bit of film, okay. actually. I had the, the phone filming on the way home. It was crazy. <laughs> Made for a uh, scenic route home. <laughs> well, today we're wanting to get into uh, kind of the top things, uh, top five things going on in Upland. So if you've never, you know, uh, have played Upland before, if you're, you know, have seen us talk about it, um, just kind of going on the top things at the moment that you can get involved in and uh, see if there's anything that, that interests you. So uh, which one do you want to start with? Man, it's so much cool stuff. Let's start with totems. Totems. All right, totems are pretty cool. Um, let's see. Let's go. I'm going to share my screen here. i got to find which one. All right. Um, how many totems have you picked up? I only have one. So for... If you're in Upland and involved, that's probably all you've been hearing about. But for our viewers that are not in Upland yet, what is what are the totems? Totems are bringing life into Upland. Uh, so the totem sale has already happened. All the the first chapter of the totems. Uh, little over a thousand. I think there's a little over a thousand totems that were sold um, in the first initial sale. And there's going to be some more sales coming up. So if you want one now, um, you have to go into the the secondary market. Now, the the cool thing is um, tomorrow the totems will be revealed, and we'll see which totem you get. Um, so actually. At the time of this video is coming out, the totems will have already been revealed. Um, but so we're going to see, you know, which which one of these we get. So if you follow in our live streams, I'm sure we'll be showing you exactly which ones we get. I've I've gotten two uh, of these these totems, and I'll see which ones um, I've received uh, on Monday. So. Anyway, we'll be going over those in the in the live streams. But yeah, we're gonna have to take care of these totems uh, with um, the utility token called Protom, which this is all an experiment uh, to on how to bring life into Upland. And then um, all the Protom that we earn is gonna be turned into STEM, which will be the the actual token in the future used uh, to bring living things into the Upland. Because right now in Upland, it's just uh, structures and racetracks and cars and different map assets that are non-living. And so this is pretty exciting for Upland. It's been a big vision of theirs for a long time to bring actual living things uh, like grass and trees and animals and pets into the world of Upland. So it's pretty, pretty exciting. You pretty excited for this? I am really excited about it. I think it's going to bring a whole nother realm, you know, to Upland and, um, you know, bringing a real life type feel to it. So I think it's really cool. So I've been pretty focused on just the totem side of it. You know, I'm excited. I've got one totem and looking forward to getting it. So on the protom, how are we going to earn the protom? How are we going to get that? Is that something we're going to have to buy or is it something we can earn? Do you know anything about that? Um, all I know is that the the people that went at the time of reveal uh, that have the totems will be given a certain amount of protum. We don't know how much that is yet. Uh, we don't know what, what that is. Um, and then you'll have to manage that protum, keeping your totems alive, which we don't know what that looks like yet either. Um, so I'm sure we'll get some more information as we go. And then after these releases, 
and they get the bugs worked out and, and kinks worked out, the protom will be exchanged one for one for stem. Right. And so now this was the first chapter and uh, forgive me, but I think there's going to be four chapters. Um, and so if you didn't get a totem in this sale, uh, don't worry, there will be another sale. We don't know when yet. Um, there's been speculation of once a month, um, but we have not, that has not been, uh, that information that has not been revealed yet. So, so, but just stay tuned and you can either get one on the secondary market, which they're marked up pretty heavily at the moment, um, or just wait for the second sale, uh, in Upland. So, uh, definitely excited for that. Follow along. And like I said, tomorrow, uh, those get revealed, which will be exciting. Yeah, that will be exciting. I'm looking forward to that. So, um, all right. So the next thing on the list, what do we got? Let's see. Let's go back to our screen here. We'll figure out. Uh, okay. So we got totems. All right. So I guess the, the next big thing is the, um, we got the NFL PA. I know they just announced that again. I haven't seen a ton on this yet. We've had a really busy week here. Um, for I know the NFL started this week, so this is the first week. We had the first game on uh, Thursday night, and the Kansas City Chiefs got beat by the Lions. Um, so I know a lot of people entered into the NFL Pickums in the Discord. Uh, who did you pick for that game? Uh, I picked the Chiefs. Did you? I did. I went with the favorites, the heavy favorites. <laughs> I actually took. Uh, I took Detroit. Nice. So. They were getting six and a half points. I did watch Detroit a little bit last year, and they were actually not looking too bad. So that coupled with six and a half points and the fact that Kelsey was out, which is a mm. big part of the game plan for Casey's scheme, right. that was the reason that made me choose them. So it worked mm. out because they actually won call. outright, which was really cool. So I should have took that on DraftKings or something, but um, I yeah, the odds the were, yeah, I'm sure they that. were crazy. I know. I know. I, it, was, it was crazy. Um, well, let's pull up the NFL PA here and look at some information coming out in Upland. Um, on that. And it was pretty interesting because they actually came out with an announcement that said um, that there was going to be delayed and they didn't know when. And it was like two days later. It looks like they got the problem solved, <laughs> and uh, which was good. They got it solved quick. And they're bringing the NFL PA uh, this year. Uh, bringing it back. So um, let's learn together here really quick. Um, hmm. Yeah, because they were, the aim is to launch and have big reveal around week four of the season. Okay, so probably another couple weeks before everything is revealed uh, or like the, um, what do they call them? The bundles are sold. Yeah. Um, the breakdown of NFL PA bundles there's going to be mixed essentials uh, include a unique mix of essentials common legits from multiple teams and no passes these will be sold exclusively in the upland store and will be available all season long without any quantity limitations wow very interesting uh, team essential bundle this will include a unique mix of essentials tailored to a specific team and no passes uh, that they'll be sold only within the relevant team's stadium in Upland. Okay, so these you have to actually travel in Upland mm. to the stadium uh, of the of that particular team uh, in order to get those bundles. That's that's pretty cool. That's actually a good way to for Upland to to get people traveling more. I know people don't like that, but you know, part of Upland what they're trying to do is create economy. In upland and, and people uh you know moving and traveling uh just like in real life um let's see variety pass bundle this type of bundle will include a unique mix of legits with a chance of containing a pass legit they're sold exclusively in the upland store however please note that they will require weekly registration to participate in the sale Ooh, so something right. you have to register for weekly yeah um and those passes are typically, uh, oh, well, let's read it. 
was going to say exchanged for like a memento or something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, the NFLPA pass bundles will be associated with each week of the season at the beginning of every NFLPA week. In Upland, pass bundles for the upcoming week's games will be added to the Upland store on a weekly basis the following week. Any unsold pass bundles from the previous week will be removed from the Upland store. Then once the mementos are prepared and statistics are finalized, the passes from the previous week's games will become eligible for exchange. All right. That's pretty cool. So you're kind of, you know, if you're, if you have a big game and you get a pass to that game, let's say your team wins that game. um, Man, it's going to be pretty cool. The mementos, uh, you could exchange the pass for a memento from that, from that game so that's that's pretty cool um as mentioned above stay tuned for the big reveal announcement of all the new nflpa bundles challenges and rewards around week four of the nflpa season roughly three weeks from now this will give us time to ensure we're fully prepared and have everything ready for the upcoming season um oh this is interesting players who are already own nflpa legits from past seasons you're in for a treat you'll enjoy an established fan score and a head start in specific fan score challenges giving you a slight edge over players who don't own any nflpa legits as we're gearing up for the nflpa season we'll be uh, parting ways with fc porto as a result there will be no new items or sales for fc porto legits Existing legits can still be traded in Upland. However, going forward, our focus will shift to an entire leagues like FIFA and NFLPA rather than individual teams. We're yeah, excited for the upcoming NFLPA season. Can't wait for it to officially kick off. All right. So um, that's interesting with the FC Porto. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, that's in, that, there's some interesting things right there with the. Um, you know, for those that have been involved with the NFLPA, that's, you know, it's kind of, it's been pretty speculative getting into the legits. Yeah. A lot of people have uh, not been super excited. And I've actually heard of other people, that's the main thing they collect in Upland of, is the NFLPA legits. But there's yeah. just not a, there's just not a whole lot of utility yet. Um, it is good to see a nice little reward for those that have participated so far um yeah i'm excited they're doing something with it i have a lot of nfl well i've got uh, some M- nfl pa legits and um you know i guess the utility have come so i'm excited to see what they're going to do with it um i wasn't sure how they were going to do it i think i was kind of hoping that they would have went like old school so as a kid i used to collect you know baseball cards football cards and it's kind of what got me into following the sports as a young kid. I would go to the the local shop and, you know, pick up a, just a regular pack of cards. And, you know, inside that pack of cards, you'd have random players from all different teams. You know, if you were lucky, you got like a rookie card, you'd get a stick of gum in the old days. And, um, you know, the cards would smell like that bubble gum for like the first couple of weeks, but it was, it was really cool because it was so random. Everybody had a chance at, man, who was going to be that breakout player and you know, what card was going to be worth the most. I was kind of hoping they would go maybe old school where it was just packs of cards and you know, it was luck of the draw Mm. kind of like it was in the old days. Yeah. Um, I, I, so how much do you think you'll participate in the NFL PA, PA this year? I'm going to, I think I'm going to participate in it for sure. I don't know how hardcore I'm not going to go like, um, loyal Doyle hardcore or anything. <laughs> I think that, that boy is highly invested in NFL. I, I remember early on when they came out, I think I watched a podcast. I think the thing was like an hour and he was opening up packs for that hour. If I could remember correct. Um, but I'm not going to go that hardcore, but I'm going to, I'm going to get some NFL PA legits for sure. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to dabble. Um, I think I might try to get like some Packers um, go to the, well, they don't have the Packers stadium. So it's probably going to be like Chicago yep. where, where you can go get um, the bundles for that particular game. I might dabble in that and see if I can't get like a, a Packers uh, pass or something like that. And, 
get a memento from one of their games. I might try to uh, mess with that just a little bit. Um, all right, so if you're interested in NFL and legits and experimenting with some NFTs, you know, not financial advice uh, whatsoever, just, um, you know, never invest more than what you're willing willing to lose and experiment with. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. And um, jump in and get involved. Yeah, that's the big thing, too. Definitely um, be financially smart. You know, don't go out and buy legits and spend your mortgage payment on them. You know, just be responsible. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think up next we've got some... Not financial advice. I mean, it's your money you do what you want with it, but... Yeah, just... Be smart. Be cautious. Um, we've got the next one up there. we got stock, stock cars car. in Upland. All right. Stock cars are out. Um, I'm sorry. The stock cars are not out yet. Uh, the stock car uh, bundles. Oh, this was the hunt. I didn't really mean to bring up the hunt. Um, but that's okay. Well, stock cars have actually been out for a few weeks now. Um, the pat, the bundles, and everything. So we could just kind of briefly um, talk about stock cars and then move on to the next topic. But if you are interested in racing, uh, man, there's. Uh, there's there's racing um, groups and leagues being formed in Upland. Uh, there's on layer one. The racing this season has been so much more exciting now that there's user controls and it's not just um, RNG uh, <clears throat> randomly generated. So um, anyway, that's if you're interested in in racing and these are just block explorers. These are not what the stock cars look like. Like I said, I pulled up the wrong article here uh, from Upland, but um, uh, so yeah, so you, I mean, Upland's—it's getting to that point where it's difficult to participate in everything. Um, you kind of—I mean, I diversify a little bit, but I have my main focuses. But it's going to be really difficult for people to focus on just on or to to heavily participate in everything because you've got. NFLPA, which you can go into, you got the stock car racing, you got regular cars, you've got uh, the FIFA uh, stuff, um, just all kinds of stuff uh, that you can get involved in. So if racing is your thing, I would uh, encourage you to just go um, check out the details on the stock cars. How do you how do you get them? Which I know right now you have to own a stock car pass for the eligibility to. Um, win or purchase a stock car when they're released, which we're expecting to be fairly soon. They're being produced in the factories right now. Um, so yeah, anything else I missed on stock cars? No, did you get yourself a stock car pass? I did not. I cannot find a good deal. And I'm honest. They I'm look honestly pretty more, steep. Secondary. I'm more focused on the totems right now. Um, I have a lot of regular cars and some really good cars for racing. Um, I don't, you know, I do want a stock car. Um, but if I'm going to get one on secondary, I might have to wait till the hype drops just a little bit and, and get a better deal. Uh, or there's going to be more bundle passes coming out at some point. So I'll just try again on the next one. Yeah. Um, but I don't want to deplete my, my earnings and things <laughs> on the stock car right now. I'm, um, I want to see how these totems go and might get more if, um, uh, if it, if it goes smoothly, if it goes well. So, I mean, that's kind of, you know, I was kind of forced to choose, you know, totems or stock cars just with my, my budget and what I, what I earn in Upland and things like that. So, so I, I had to choose to participate more in, in totems, uh, than, than the stock cars. So what about you? Are, are, are you focused on one more than the other? Um, I'm probably well, you more did. focused on the totems. I, I don't know. I'm excited about both, to be honest. Um, I was lucky I got one of each. I was hoping to get one more totem and I was really close on one more stock car too, but just missed. So I'm excited to have one of each. I knew probably wasn't going to get that much. And I was, I was just happy to get two, one of each. So, yeah, no, that's, that's solid. All right, let's we'll keep this uh, keep this moving. Let's jump to the next one, which is what do we got? So we Tokyo, totems. Tokyo Martial Arts, right? Or is that Map Assets? 
<laughs> um, where are you? Sorry. Yeah, so Tokyo Map Assets. So that, is this coming next week? Or this up? Yeah, this upcoming week, I guess, the week we're in. All right. So, yes. And I know I've pulled up the article. Just got to find it. All right. Now I've got it pulled up. And share. All right. So the I actually just saw these uh, this morning. So these are the map assets that you can. Um, are these cats? Yeah. They are cats. Okay. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get a better picture here. So these are the map asset rewards. Um. And you have to register. Uh, for these, and so I'm pretty sure. Can you still register for that? I haven't. I, gotta... I didn't even see that come out. I don't even know how I missed the map assets. Yeah, it came out a few days ago. Jeez, um, and so the way you have to be in, you have to go to Tokyo. So that's where again, I'm probably not going to participate in this. Um, just, I think I want to be. I would be tempted to spend a lot of my upex, uh, which I don't want to do right now. Um, because let's see every day this week um you have to go to tokyo and they do a drawing every day uh for 25 people to receive one of these map assets so you do these things to get entries um for uh <clears throat> to get your name in the drawing for these map assets and you know I know by the time this video comes out that we'll be already into day two of this. Um, but just talking with people of, Up, of Upland, these are these are common challenges that come up uh, within Upland, being able to earn map assets which go onto your properties and are pretty cool. I know some people are going to be really collecting these. They're going to be um, pretty collectible and, and people are going to be trying to put them on their Tokyo properties. So... Uh, but it happens with uh, all kinds of different things. So if you're interested in, you know, being able to earn NFTs and play the game and have chances at getting these things or, or purchasing them on secondary market, um, then, uh, yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun to do and have a chance at winning. The ways that you earn entries into this are sends. So let's see. All right. So you get one entry. For a send, you can do five per day. And then you can spawn a standard treasure, which I think that can be anywhere. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I was going to ask, is this specific that everything has to be done in Tokyo? Or some of those look like maybe they could be done, like the treasures can be done elsewhere. So I know that sends in Tokyo, you have to mint a property in Tokyo. Now that gets you 10 points. Um and this is newly can, minted. It's not something that we already got in the open. Right. It has to happen this week. Right. So, and you can you can get two entries per day minting in Tokyo. You can complete a Tokyo collection, uh, which gives you 20 entries. You can complete two of those per day. Um, and then spawn it, which reading down here, spawn a standard treasure. Spawn a treasure in the standard treasure hunting mode. It does not say in Tokyo. Hmm. So that might be where I get my my entries. I can get fifteen entries a day. So because um, I, I I'm treasure hunting in San Fran, uh, earning Spark. I'm actually earning. Uh, I did well with Spark this week. Um, I earned about point one Spark this week. Uh, if I earn, if I find a treasure chest today, I will just take over eleven Spark today. Oh wow, you're way ahead of yeah. me. Yeah, it's been. Uh, Spark has Evan, definitely been slower for me. I had a like oh a solid week and a half where it was slow, and in the last three or four days, it's actually been um, been getting quite a few Spark chests. Hmm. Now, to be fair, I haven't done as many uh, treasure hunts just due to schedule too that I'm gotcha. used to doing. So, got to be um, to win it, right? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Uh, it's definitely 
kind of takes a little bit of work. Um, the rewards, let's see. So yeah, 25 players will win one of the Tokyo map assets every day. Uh, they will be randomly selected from the entries um, that you earn. Let's see. They will not be available for purchase on the primary market. They can only be won from the Tokyo Map Asset Giveaway Challenge. Hmm. And then, of course, they can be sold on the secondary market. Yeah. Um, so these are pretty cool. Pretty cool looking. And... Uh, Something very different. There's nothing. There's no map assets like this yet. No. Um, in Upland, so that's um, that'll be something uh, quite different. I'm sure people are gonna go kind of crazy for them. All right, and then so I think that was four of the five things. And so I, the last one, there's not an article for. I couldn't find it, so I'll go ahead and jump off here. Um, the raceways. Yeah, so there's a bunch of new ra raceways that have kind of popped on the the map. Yeah, let me you know what? Let me share my upland screen and I'll show you what those are. I know Mass Chef has been doing a really good job of kind of promoting and um all that on his channel and I think they've been racing at some of the newer tracks, getting a little bit of exposure so people know where they are and so that's kind of cool. Yeah, I'll uh, tomorrow in our live or in our uh, live stream, I'll um, talk more about the URL and the races that we had this this uh, last Friday. Uh, it was a really really fun race. But um, so the new raceways, which you know we don't know the exact features um, that are coming with them yet, but you know they're these black dots right here. So we've got one right here in Lemert Park. Um, there's one over here in Rancho Park and Century City. I think that's it for LA right now. Um, yeah, so those are the three race, raceways that have been approved. Racetracks. Uh, there's more racetracks, but these are actual raceways where I know there's going to be able, the ability to like uh, charge like entry fees for tournaments and for races and actually make it into... Um, you know, we're actually bringing in some upics, maybe. Uh, this is what the structure looks like right here. Um, you know, we raced over in Detroit in the URL season. And they actually had theirs looking pretty cool. It was up here in Palmer Park. Pretty cool little track. And so as we were racing, you got to see the Genesis go-karts. Um, the different cars right here, the different map assets uh, that this particular person has. And, um, you know, as you're racing, it's pretty cool. Like, you're actually seeing, we went down this road, and these are real roads in real life. If you've never played Upland before, this is based on, uh, the map is based on, on real life. Um, and these are structures that have been built with Spark in, in Upland. And as you're racing, you see all these structures. Um, along the way that are have been built and are being built uh, you you see them so and if you watch our previous live streams and uh, i'm sure we'll do some races this week coming up you can actually see what that looks like and um it's it's really cool to see it and i can't wait till stem is is uh you know fully functional and you'll see grass and trees and maybe maybe uh birds flying cows in the pasture something like that um uh, it'll be interesting to see what what comes of that but so when are they going to bring wreckers and uh ambulances to have at the hey, you, stand there you never know you never know it's um uh, there's there's so much potential uh for the future uh, of of upland and and where it goes and uh it's going to be be interesting to see uh because we know like later there's going to be damage to the cars uh that yeah that's supposed uh, that's on the roadmap for for upland you know when who knows um but um yeah so eventually you'll need to have like a wrecker truck to take the cars and you know bring them down to the shop to be fixed get them towed you know that's going to cost epics and then you got to get take your car the fixed driver up. avatars out on a gurney <laughs> transport them to the local shop to Me get fixed up or hospital medical <laughs> medical bills um 
uh, <laughs> I don't know how close to real life we want to get in this game. I know. Um, then insurance would be coming, right? They're in everything else. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. Yeah. Let's not get started on that yeah. one. That's oh. funny. Look, he's got some phone. You know, I thought those were porta potties. That's old school. That's a phone These booth. Are... K.O., have you ever been in a phone booth? I have. I have um, a handful of times, uh, mainly actually in, in Europe. Whenever I was in ah. Europe, I had to, had to use them. Um, that's pretty interesting. There's only 500 of these. A hundred of them created. Uh, I know. I think there's a shop in Upland that have um, has created these. So nice. Yeah, you know, this is kind of stuff. These are three, you know, three D artists um, that are getting these uh, map assets produced in Upland. People are purchasing them for Upix or US dollar, and you know, creating businesses and economy in Upland. I mean. Um, so it's 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 pretty cool to see things like that and um so if you're if you're not again this video is kind of uh just to educate people on uh upland and what it is and some things going on and things to get involved with and man there there's so we're talking about kind of the top five hot topics right now uh but there's there's so many other things with you know creating map assets and owning meta ventures um uh that's there's so much going on so there's there's a lot to learn so if you're getting into upland just be patient uh jump into the discord you can jump into our discord and you know we're helping people out all the time uh jump into the upland discord uh or you know whatever community you, you find is a good fit for you and um just start talking to people asking questions and you know it's i'm still learning stuff and we've been in for quite a while so every just, day um, yeah uh, and we're, I feel like we're kind of learning with Upland, you know, um, as they are trying new things and, and trying to roll out new features and we're helping them to do so. Um, so pretty, but yeah, just be patient and have fun and enjoy the process. And, um, uh, most importantly, find a good community to get in, involved with. Yeah. It's been exciting seeing all this new stuff. I know there's been so many people saying there's nothing going on in Upland, man, <laughs> there's a lot going on right now. I know at one point I felt like I knew most of everything and there's been so much cool stuff coming out, you know, we're learning a little bit every day. So I think it's, it's been really exciting. Yeah. I think you just gotta, you have to go into Upland with not a, a, a quick flip or a quick profit mindset. You know, you gotta go into it with a long, longer visionary, you know, Upland I see now much different where I'm not, you know, I, I think the, Stuff like that will come, but now I see it as more just a long-term um, opportunity, and I also really enjoy it's a community to, to get involved in that's been really, really cool. Um, and yeah, I just kind of see it as something I'm a part of now, um, and not something I'm trying to take advantage of or something like that. And not that I ever was like that; just I didn't know what I was getting into when it started. Yeah. Um, you know, so. Uh, I think you wrote me in, had me buy my first property and, um, yeah, it was and, weird uh, how it all kind of matriculated and happened. It was over like a, what was it a holiday weekend? I think between Christmas yeah. and new year's and it was crazy. Yeah. We had a little bit of extra downtime that we don't typically have and kind of dove into it and turned out to be something really amazing. So, and I, you know, I think as we're watching this grow lifetime, I think that people are going to have to choose, you know, they're going to have to start to choose what they're going to be into because there's so much going on. You can't really keep up on everything. So the days of being, you know, the jack of all trades in Upland, I think those are going to slowly start drifting away. Cause I know personally, I like to know about a lot of it, but I can't keep up on all of it. It's just coming too quick. And there's so much details, you know, for each of the different uh, venues and um, different areas within Upland itself. So um, oh, I know, Ko. You mentioned this too about you know getting getting up with a good community. So definitely encourage you guys to you know find a community of things that you're into, people you like to be around, and I think that's that's the best way to do it. Get out there and have fun with it within a community, whichever one it is. Um, and I know with our community, uh, it's this this everybody's going to see this on Tuesday because this is being pre-recorded, um, but. 
if we hit 283 subscribers by Thursday, so you'll have two days after this video releases, um, we're going to do a 1,000, uh, I'm sorry, not a 1,000. This one is going to be a big giveaway. It's going to be a 100,000 Upix giveaway. Um, so definitely um, subscribe and like, and you know, don't be afraid to share the videos too if you like what we're doing here. Yeah, absolutely. And our, our, you know, our community that we are, uh, you know, creating and, and building and growing, it's, it's been awesome uh, as, you know, first of all, a group of positive people, positive mindsets, um, long-term visions with goals and upland uh, and layer two things that are building um, and martial arts. So martial yeah. arts is our, is our background. It's our passion. And um, we, we love talking martial arts. We love doing martial arts. Um, and so that's kind of our, our theme and uh, what everything is, is focused around and the, um, you know, and, and like the, the, the character traits of, of martial arts that it brings the respect and discipline and courtesy and integrity, um, you know, bringing that to the community and trying to share some of those things and, and having fun along the way. We do giveaways just about daily um, in our, in our discord and in our community, lots of fun ways to interact on YouTube and, um, the discord and in upland and racing leagues. Oh, oh my gosh, so much stuff going on. So, um, if, if, uh, getting into something like this interests you, um, you know, reach out, we can answer any of the questions that, uh, that you can in our discord, the links will be in the descri description below. Uh, so will, um, a bonus, um, link for upland. If you want to jump in and get a, uh, bonus when you on your first purchase again not financial advice just uh if you're interested in uh learning more and maybe dabbling and getting started in upland then then use those links below to help you get started yeah definitely i wish i would have had that link when i started i i can't remember if i used it or not honestly i think you did i can't remember i i know for sure i didn't and um because there wasn't a link you know the person i heard about it through and I was like, man, I could have had another hundred thousand Upix to mm -hmm. spend on properties. I could, you know, at that time, I think I was in, I think I got dropped in like Cleveland or some, you know, little <laughs> town. And so I was buying properties and, you know, I could have bought like an extra, maybe 20 properties, you know, with a hundred thousand Upix. So that would have been really amazing, you know, just for the earnings. Um, oh, for sure. So definitely take advantage of that. So don't miss out on it. And it's a, it's a one time. So it's like one and done. So whatever your initial entry is that's it is what it is so yep but well i think that's going to wrap it up for today so i know we wanted to keep this kind of short and um so i hope you guys you know pulled something away from this and learned something with us and uh if you have more details than we do man reach out in discord and let us know so um let us know how many uh stock car um passes you have and you know how many totems did you get so share that with the community all right, guys, thanks for tuning in, and we will catch you next time. All right, have a great one.